Welcome to Beer Stories from Beer Story Brew House. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your Hydrum Wi Fi and Bluetooth floating hydrometer. Remember, if you like the video, please click like and subscribe down the corner. I'll be very happy if you do. It will help out the channel and uh, you'll get the newest videos directly in your YouTube feed. Also remember, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. Well, so I just got this in the door. Um, first impression is really, really good. I really love the fact that you uh, there's a no cloud uh, requirement uh, if you want to yeah, keep it off the grid. Um, you can also connect to a, a bunch of uh, cloud storage, uh, yeah, Brewfather and, and, and such uh, programs. And then uh, has both got uh, Bluetooth and, and Wi-Fi. And uh, I think that's really, really great. Because uh, sometimes my Wi-Fi can reach where I have my fermentation chamber, but the Bluetooth can, so yeah, that's perfect. The first impression that I got was that it's big and heavy. And I really like that because uh, when it's in the fermentation tank, um, the smaller ones can get disturbed by all the yeast actually on top of the of the beer um, the heavier it is the bigger it is the it's more less it's less uh, pronounced to be uh, disturbed by the yeast so that's really great um, I, I'm really looking forward to uh, to compare this to my iFloat so uh, I'm going to do that in my next brew but the first thing you got to do is uh, charge it through an uh, USB, USB-C uh, cord here. Then you have a power button, and then you have a button over here. It's actually both a reset button and a, and a, and a button, yeah. If you hold it in, it will reset the, the hydrometer. So I just turned it on, and I pressed the button once. I don't know if I actually have to do that. Um, in the manual here, you can see the whole uh, instruction for use guide, so you can yeah, read everything I'm doing, you can read that in here. So it's not that uh, complicated. The first first thing you got to do is connect to the Wi-Fi called something with Hydro. I'm connecting to it now. And as soon as I'm connected, I'm going to uh, enter the, um, the IP address that's mentioned in here. Thank you for choosing Hydrum, blah, blah, blah. I need to uh, choose a language. That's gonna be English. Okay, so I have to uh, actually write my, uh, my Wi-Fi client um, down, because it can remember mine. And also the password, I have to... to write in my password and then just connect to the network. I can also use a, a Bluetooth configuration, but uh, I recommend you doing this through Wi-Fi. It's, uh, I think it's easier. So something went wrong, why did it do that? Just try again. So now it's on my Wi-Fi and then I have to calibrate it. Um, and this is just a plain water calibration. And that means it has to be calibrated in 25 degrees Celsius of water. Um, luckily for me, I have a sous vide. So I'll just uh, put this in the water and let it heat up to 25 degrees Celsius. It's really important that you put this in because uh, if you just heat the water and then plump this in and then calibrate, this might not be 25 degrees inside. So put it in, let it heat up and then calibrate. If you don't have a sous vide, do the same thing, but just uh, put some uh, yeah, water in there that's hotter than 25 degrees Celsius, and then measure it with a, with a thermometer. Um, and when you reach 25 degrees, calibrate. And that's actually just it. Um, and now, you can see here, I have to, uh, I can turn on the Bluetooth if I want to. I can uh, calibrate it to 
uh, integrated with Brewfather and uh, and yeah, and many things actually. Um, I can also just send it directly to the to to Deep Sleep. And uh, basically that's it. I'm gonna just turn on the Bluetooth and then I'm gonna send it to Deep Sleep. So now it's actually calibrated, but as you can see here, uh, it's in Play-Doh right now. Um, and uh, I don't want it to be in Play-Doh, I want it to be in specific gravity. So I'll have to go up in the menu. And now in the settings, you can see I can give it a device name. Hydrum Via Stories, whoopsie, just like that. And I can, uh, I can set the units. I want it to be specific gravity. I can also set it to Kelvin, Fahrenheit or Celsius. I want it in Celsius. Perfect. Push save and then that's it. While I'm in here, I'm going to show you, there's also an update for the firmware and a calibration right here. The calibration, you have three options. The customized formula, I don't know what that is, but uh, if you're really smart, you can do something in here. Then you have the normal calibration with the sugar or some kind of reference um, and the plain water calibration that I just did before with 25 degrees Celsius water. So yeah, basically that is, that's it. Um, I'm really looking forward to test this out. It seems like a great product. Well, he told me anyway, I've been in contact with him and he told me that he took all the good things from all the Wi-Fi Bluetooth hydrometers out there and uh, from all the floating uh, hydrometers and uh, put everything in here. Um, yeah, and until now, I think uh, he's right. So I'm really looking forward to test it. If you stick around to the end, you'll see two videos up here that YouTube wants you to see because you search for the topics and so on. Um, I would be really glad if you would uh, push like and subscribe down the corner. Um, you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any questions, you can write to me through uh, beerstories.dk or just write to me down in the comments here. Um, yeah, have a happy brewing out there.